So let's talk about some of the troubleshooting that we can do to get Google Maps into Blender. Now, obviously, if you haven't seen the first video, go back and have a look at how to set it up. But let's go through some key things. So first off, we're in Blender 2.93. Also, when using RenderDoc, we're going to be using RenderDoc 1.13, so this version. And then, obviously, in the GitHub for the actual add-on install, let's go to download a release, and I'm using version 4 or 0.4. Now, some other things as well. Make sure that we close all Chrome tabs before we open up that edited one. So, let's just go right-click, close Windows, yeah, 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 shut up. From here, we open up that previous one, 271, yeah, whatever. Let's go inject process, 27152. Let's double click on that one and then press OK. And now you can see that we've got all this jargon up the top. Now with the first one, I'll always go nice and close, check immediate frames. And we can see that this is 6.7 meg. I know that that is wrong. So let's close the side panel and then we'll do it again. We can now see that it's 37.5 meg. I know that this one works. Let's just check in Blender. And there you go. You can see that it's worked fine and brought those buildings in. Just remember if you've gone out too far and then we do a capture frame immediately, 36.95 meg. No way. Huh. Would you look at that? That actually worked. Um, but obviously the mesh is a lot lower quality. So what I've found that if I kind of just rotate this, get stuffed. If I just kind of like rotate the map around ever so slightly and keep capture frame immediately going, um, that sometimes picks it up again. Alternatively, what you can do as well is we can change this to one section second. So capture after delay. And then as we're moving around, it'll pick it up. So that's some troubleshooting. I've had quite a few requests. If you haven't already, subscribe, let me know if this helped.